What's going on? This is your math instructor, Mr. P. We're doing another lesson on probability. Just more examples. Uh, 1.6, it's Math 050 lesson. Uh, still talking about sample space and outcomes, population. Right. So, suppose one of your questions was, what's the total, what's the probability of total greater than six when rolling two dice? Right? So you roll two dice, right? You roll the two dice. And these are your outcomes. Reason why this is the outcome is this. It's six on one dice is six outcomes, right? One through six. And on another outcome, on another dice is another six outcomes. So that means you got a six by six representation of outcomes, which means that's 36 things. So it's a six by six, which is 36 outcomes. So that's 36 outcomes that can happen. So this is your whole total population. What we pick out of here and put as our answer over, over the whole total population, what we pick at the top, that's going to be the sample space that, that goes on what we're saying. So what's the total number, total greater than 6? Well, all the areas where it's greater than 6 at will probably be after at least after this first block. So, right, after this first block, and maybe some of these going to hurt, right? So it's looking like about... It's not these nine ain't gonna be included. Uh, you got this one and this one, so that's one that's nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you got nine here, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then you got uh, let's see, uh, let's see, hold on, that's a that's all of them. So it's say greater than greater it's a it's a total greater than six. Um so that means seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Uh looks like to me that let's just let's just go ahead and count it. Greater than six. Um so you got one I heard that one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, man, that's a lot. How did I do that? How did I do that? Greater than, oh, that's a lot of them. Greater than 6. So let's do that over again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven. I'm sorry, I did that. Let's do that over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Looks like 21 of them. Oh my goodness. How did I do that? Looks like 21. So it's 21. It's 21, 21 out of 36. Twenty-one out of thirty-six greater than six. Huh. Twenty-one. Damn. Now let's just double check that to make sure I'm right. We're gonna try it over again here. We got one six. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yep, twenty-one out of thirty-six. And that actually reduces. That actually reduces to Oh, you divide both sides by top and bottom by 3, and it reduces to 7 out of 12. So the answer will be 7 out of 12. But I ain't going to get this one wrong, the sum that they're even. So when you roll the dice, and the sum of the digits on each dice amounts up to an even number. Well, we got that. So this is 1, 1. That's 1, 2, 3. Cause see, all these other ones are odd when you add the two digits up. So I won't miss this. So you see how the pattern going. It's going to be half of them. Right? So that's going to be half of them. 
See, all of these other ones, every other one is getting circled. So that means that's going to be even. The other next one between is going to be odd. So you see that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold up. All right, so uh, we just about to wrap up, and this is uh, you, Mr. P, your math instructor out. Amen.